Check this out. Looks like Nasha's got a famous twin. <laughs> if only. If Nasha was a celebrity, he could get us into the Rat Bucket gig tomorrow night. I still think we should ask Athena to get us some tickets. Look, Athena, the latest issues. Oh, my gosh, let me see. Yeah, she is Rat's only kid after all. No way. Athena wouldn't give us the time of day, especially if you go round swiping her mags. Oh! Thank you. Got it back, Miss Athena. Hmm. Weird-looking creature, if you ask me. Still, fashion is fashion. <laughs> At last. Yes, the dog is an Abyssinian wirehead tripe hound. Rare? I should hope so, too. No, I don't care what it costs. It's the number one fashion accessory with the in crowd. So get me in or you'll be out permanently. You know what? I reckon Nasha might help us get into the gig after all. Yeah? How? Listen and learn, pie face. Better get going. I've got to feed my Abyssinian wirehead tripe hound. Wait a minute. I remember that horrible mutt of his. Can it be? It can't be. It is! It's a tripe hound! Stop him, sugar! Hey! Come back! Yeah? What's up? Uh, Miss Athena wants your dog. How much? Name your price. Sorry, girls. Nash is not for sale. Nasha, ugh. that name will have to go. Make a note, sugar. Change name of dog. No need. Like I said, Nasha's not for sale at any price. There you go. <laughs> hmm. We'll see about that. Everyone has their price, even Dennis. Is that what I think it is? The Super Curl 3000 with built-in surround sound and full remote control. <laughs> cool. Direction finding system as standard. Do left hand 180 at the bottom of the drive for the skate park. Wow. And of course it has 360 remote control tail spin ability. <laughs> that totally rocks! edition, of course. But you can have it in exchange for the dog. Hmm. <sighs> uh, no thanks. It would take more than a skateboard to break up Nasher and me. <laughs> hmm. Apart from his dog and his skateboard, what else does Dennis love? Astronomy, bees, hang gliding. No sugar, music. Especially guitars. Rock on! Who's making that rocket? It's Athena! With a rat bucket triple neck! The coolest guitar in the world! I want to trade Dad's guitar for... Let me guess. Me dog. Yes. I may not be the best guitarist on the planet, but you could be with a guitar like this. Nah. I prefer a single neck axe. No deal. Oh, really? Well, let's see what the dog thinks, shall we? Sugar, the chart. <gasps> Listen up, dog. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Never to be repeated. Come with me and it's a first-class lifestyle. With a luxury penthouse kennel. A private chef. Mountains of luxury hand-rolled sausages. All for you. <laughs> well, do we have a deal? <laughs> Okay, then. You got me. 
makes a deal. Yes! Come along, sugar, and bring the hound. And you can give her to the dog's home. Don't worry, Pie Face. All will be revealed. <laughs> we'll be seeing Nasha again soon. And we'll be getting Rat Bucket tickets. Really? Trust me. No! Oh. Oh, stop it! Oh! Oh! No! into a full-on fashionista. Oh, mm. can Pumper Pets help you today, madam? Mm. Nails, please. Mm. I think we're talking industrial pedicure, madam. I'm going in. Where is that waiter with our lunch? I'm ravenous. Madame, Monsieur, your order. Spaghetti and meatballs. Enjoy. Mmm, meatballs. My favourite. <laughs> Monsieur missed a bit. Ah! Now look what he's done! My new outfit's ruined! Sugar, come. Let's get this creature home before he embarrasses me anymore. <laughs> Believe me, he's only just getting started. Well, only seconds to go before midnight. All being well, Nasha should be here just about... now. Here, take him. Your dog's a menace. He's eaten my best face cream, totally trashed my room, chewed up all my clothes and scared Daddy's guard dogs witless. Sorry, no can do. He's all yours now. What? Tripe hands are so yesterday. Sorry. No, wait, wait. There must be something. The guitar, the skateboard, you can have them all. Sugar? Well, I don't know. A deal's a deal. What else do you want? Hmm, I know. How about tickets for the gig? Tickets, you say? Hmm, might be nice. No problem. Sugar, give him the tickets. As many as you want. Anything. Just say you'll take this monster back. What do you think, Nasha? Do you want to come back? <laughs> so, do we have a deal? Deal. Yes. Make a note, Sugar. Try pounds are out. Permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're off to see Rat Bucket after all, Nasha. Thanks to you. Result! Hey, wait a minute. These are tickets for last year's gig. Athena! Oh, 
presenting the Menace Mark 1 Meteor, which will take me, Commander Dende, on the first pedal-powered mission to Mars! Jump in, Nasha! <laughs> Initiating leg power! <laughs> to glide control. a bike. It's a pedal-powered interplanetary cruiser. But now it's useless. Dad, I need a new bike. No. Dad, I've got a new bike. I said no. And in other news, Dennis has got a new bike. Dennis, a bike costs money. It doesn't grow on trees, you know. Haven't you got any money? Not enough for a new bike. But you work your fingers to the bone in that office. That's because I love my job. And I do practically run the rubber band and paper clip division. That's what I mean. They can't do without you. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for me, it'd grind to a halt. Exactly. So, ask your boss for a rise. What? You're joking. Ask Mr Scrimp for more cash. He's the meanest man in Beano Town. Dad, are you a man or a mouse? Stand up to the old skin flint. You know, you're right. He should be paying me more. I'll march up to the old miser's office and demand a raise. What? Have you taken leave of your senses? I didn't get where I am today by giving handouts to every Tom, Dick and What's-His-Name who walks through that door! 1,101. Get out! You know what, Nash? When Dad gets back, he's gonna buy me the best bike in the... Dad! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Dennis. I talked to Mr Scrimp, like you said, and he agreed he wasn't paying me the right amount. See? I told you it would work. He's not giving me more money. He's cutting my wages for wasting his time. Oh, why did I listen to you? Remind me again, Dennis. Why are we trashing your house? Because I'm trying to make it look like we're dead poor. But how's that going to get you a new bike? If Dad had more money, he could buy me one, right? And if Dad's boss sees how poor we are, he'll feel bad and give Dad a rise. Listen and learn, boys. <coughs> is that you, Scrimp? This is Hiram Big Bucks of USHQ. Yeah, you're a boss. Listen, drop whatever you're doing and go see what's his name. Works in rubber bands and paper clips. I can't think why Mr Big Bucks wants me to go round to wretched What's-His-Name's wretched house. Still, he's the boss. Whatever he says goes. <laughs> Is this that wretched What's-His-Name's house? Yeah, I'm that wretched What's-His-Name, son. Come in, Governor, come in. Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, don't you worry about us, your wealthiness. <laughs> we're poor, but we're happy. Oh, where's me manners? How about a lovely cup of char? Here, take a seat, sir. <laughs> Family heirloom. Been used 23 times, but it still makes a lovely brew. That's awful. But it's the only one we got. Not that. Everything. 
When what's his name asked me for a raise, I had no idea. Look, when your father gets back, tell him I'm doubling his salary. Nobody should have to live like this. Yes! Result! Mr. Scrim. What's his name? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were coming. We were out shopping. Shopping? On your income? Uh, just a few groceries, you know. Really? So, so what's this then? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's the latest thing. A Swiss Army moustache trimmer. What? How can you afford some fancy new gizmo when your family are starving? M must have been a free giveaway. Oh, we're not starving. I'm just going to cook some nice spaghetti for supper. It's only tin spaghetti. I'm starting to smell a rat. You're not really poor. All this play acting was just a sham to get me to give you more money. Play acting? I don't understand. Yeah, nice try, what's his name? But your devious little ploy has failed. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired! But, oh. All right, Dennis. What's going on? Oh, my house! My beautiful house! <gasps> Dennis! Uh, don't worry, Mum. We can fix the house. And I'm sure Dad will be able to get a new job. The easy peasy. Oh. 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 Somebody's dropped that. Never know when he might need a play clip. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nobody wants to employ me. Fired from 13 jobs in one day. That's got to be a record. Paper clips and rubber bands are all I know. I was happy working for Mr Scrimp. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you your old job back. Just leave it to me. OK, Nasha, now we'll show Mr Scrimp how the rubber band and paperclip division is rubbish without Dad. Follow me. <laughs> What's going on? Stop all this nonsense and get back to work! Who did that? Whoa! OK, Nasha, here we go. The world's biggest rubber band ball. Oh, it's you. What's his name, son? Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. Oh, I don't understand it. The paperclip and rubber band division ran like clockwork when your father was in charge. Yes. Pity you sacked him. Uh, maybe I was a tad hasty. I wonder if he'd come back and work for me again. Only one way to find out. Step up now. Don't be snooty. Come and try my tooty fruity. Ah, what's his name? How would you like your old job back? I'll double your salary. What? Well, I don't know. I... But, but triple it then. I need you back, what's his name? The place has gone to the dogs without you. Well, in that case, I'd love to come back. Excellent. Jump in then. <sighs> So, Dad, uh, about my new bike, I was thinking 21 gears, dual suspension... Dennis, there isn't going to be a new bike. That's right, Dennis. After paying out to redecorate the entire house, I reckon I won't be able to give you any more pocket money until you're 37. And you can have a new bike when you're 48. But, but, what am I supposed to do until then? You know, it's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Oh, oh, sorry, Dad. I didn't see you. 
Quite all right, Dennis. Nothing can spoil my mood today. I've got some good news. Guess what? I've been promoted. I'm the new Deputy Assistant Supervisor of Sticky Tape. That's brilliant, dear. Yes, once I've done the Sticky Tape training course, it'll all be confirmed. I'm sure you'll do well. Oh, I hope so. There's one other thing, though. The new job's in a different part of the company, in Drano Town. What? Drano Town's a dump! Well, yeah, it's certainly too far to commute. We'll have to move. Move? We can't move! We like it here, don't we, Nasha? <laughs> and in Drano Town, we'll be able to afford a better house. But there's nothing wrong with this house. It's as solid as a rock. Hmm, that'd be nice. Though we'd have to sell this one first. And, and another thing! What about Curly and Pieface? All me friends are here in Beano Town! Oh, don't be silly, Dennis. You can always make new friends. Anyway, dear, well done. Drano Town, here we come! Huh! We'll see about that! Enjoy your course. <gasps> oh, good news, Colonel. Dennis is moving. So I see. Well, it'll certainly make the job of the neighbourhood watch a lot easier. <laughs> I'll say. According to my calculations, we spend 89.6% of our time chasing Dennis. Indeed. But let's not count our chickens. Dennis is a Beano Town boy through and through. I don't think he's going to go quietly. <laughs> I'm just off to the shops, Dennis. OK, Mum. And remember, the estate agent will be bringing people to look at the house later. So just stay out of the way, OK? Curly, alert Pie Face and get on over here. It's time for Operation Stay Put. Yeah, here we are. It's a nice, quiet neighbourhood, as you can see. Oh, I hope so. When I meditate, I must have the right vibrations. Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. This garden is speaking to me. It will be my peaceful sanctuary. Yes. Okay, boys! One, two, three, four! Uh, but you did say you wanted uh, uh, vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, boys. She won't be moving in any time soon. Uh, garden's not bad. A bit tame for my liking. OK, hold your noses, everyone. Here goes. One of me own patented extreme stinker stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I like to get out in the fresh air and get back to nature. Oh, what's that? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's completely natural. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dennis is trying to put people off buying his house, is he? Time to mobilise the Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee. Now, as quickly as you can, deploy the sticky tape to create the perfect parcel. perfect. <laughs> <gasps> you know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. <gasps> oh, the kennel garden. Oh, she's scary. Yeah, but she's got one weakness. Her pet chihuahuas. <laughs> Yeah, this is it, Mrs. Uh, Barkington Wagstaff. I think you'll find it's uh, deceptively spacious. Well, it looks nice from the outside, but is there enough room for my little babies? <laughs> All right.
right, Nasha. Now! <laughs> You little fellows! Oh no! Not so fast yet, chap. It's Walter and the Colonel! They're going to ruin everything! <laughs> Thank you so much! Don't mention it, madam! It's what the neighborhood watch is for, isn't it, Colonel? Of course! We always like to look out for our little doggy friends. Even monsters like that one! Oh, don't worry about him, madam. He'll be gone when they move. Hmm, I see. Well, with dog-loving neighbours like you, this might be just the house for us. <laughs> Shall we have a look inside? Don't worry, Jen. We'll come and visit you in Drano Town. That's not even funny, Pie Face. No, it's not. And anyway, I'm not beaten yet. I'll think of something. I'm just calling your father. Oh, hello, dear. How's the course going? Oh, uh, quite well, I think. Marvellous. So what time will you be back? About four o'clock. I am looking forward to coming home. Me too, dear. See you later. Oh. <laughs> Dad will be back at four. He's looking forward to coming home. We've got to do something to convince Dad to stay here, Nasha. But what? <laughs> Hang on. Mum says he's looking forward to coming home. Maybe if he got a really big welcome back, he wouldn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, we could sing a song and, and put a banner up and... No, wait. I've got an even better idea. The kennel warden likes the house, Nasha. She's coming to look at it again at four o'clock. But I'm going to make sure she doesn't buy it. I've got a foolproof plan. <laughs> Just as I thought, Walter's fallen for it. Dennis's house again! At four o'clock! Excellent news, Walter. Yes, but the trouble is, Dennis is planning to put her off. Don't worry, Walter. He's not the only one with a plan. We'll make sure she stays and Dennis goes. Four o'clock! That'll be her! Right then. Neighbourhood Watch Welcome Committee, quick march! Just as I thought, Nasha, Walter and the Colonel are pulling out all the stops. Welcome, Committee, roll out, red carpet! What a lovely cake! A red carpet, too! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Dad! Welcome home! Hello, son. How have you been? You know what, Dennis? I was already having second thoughts about that job. And now, to come home to a welcome like this... Well, how could we possibly live anywhere else? Result! Well, sticky tape's not all it's cracked up to be. And let's face it, I'm a rubber band man at heart. You don't mind not moving, do you? Of course not. If you're happy to stay here, so am I. No place like home, eh, Dad? Exactly, son. There's no place like home.
<laughs> Steady on! It's not our fault, Mum. There's stuff everywhere. What's going on here? <coughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday! And after that, tidy your room. You two, go on. Oh. There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat. <laughs> How to crack crimes and solve mysteries. <laughs> The mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries? Cool. There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. Oh, oh where's my teapot? It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? A private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. This afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Hop a whiff of that natural pal, and she, if you can, sniff out the culprit. To the treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <laughs> Nice work, Nasha. Looks like the trail might end right here. So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tidy hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom ti tom tom tra <laughs> Aha! Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Teapot Rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? <laughs> teapot? Loot? I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <laughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs. Creature has a vast collection. Ah, ah. <sighs> ah, this is the life. Nice and quiet. A pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are 
you doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No! OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> Sorry, you can't come in here. Uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks. Enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why? Uh, thank you. I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one! <laughs> All that dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right, no teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh. I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way! We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait! Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry! Ugh. It's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> My best choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! <laughs> Hello, sweet cheeks. Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away. Watch over a beagle. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Oh, you're a brilliant investigator. It's been a blast. It sure has. Sweet cheeks. <laughs> Well, it all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents. That's one mystery I'll never solve.
You know what, Nasha? We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework handing. Any second now. Avoiding chores. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm Five at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. Ha! 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 The greatest action hero of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move. Crank! Oh! <gasps> What's this? A canned pie? No, Den. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr. Ha Ha's. Fantastic! Careful, Jen, it's infectious. <laughs> nice one, Pie Face. I'm always up for a laugh. <laughs> but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Too much laughing. <laughs> Kung Fu! <laughs> Too much ice cream! <laughs> the car! <laughs> there you are. Come on, chores. Oh. <laughs> Ice cream! Only one left! <gasps> <gasps> Too slow, Dennis! <laughs> What's up, Dan? <gasps> oh, these hiccups are ruining me day! If I don't get rid of these hiccups... <gasps> I'll be so noisy, they won't let me in to see the movie tonight. <laughs> oh, no. Then you won't get to meet Crank Power Up. <laughs> exactly. Listen, I've got to sort this out. I'll see you later. So, what shall we do now? <gasps> we'll have to make our own fun. If I hold me breath, maybe I can hold back these hiccups. <gasps> Here goes. What's that racket? <laughs> Polish me kit bag. That's the worst case of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of <laughs> milk, spoonful of mustard topped with a... <laughs> Squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr. Ha-Ha's got any ideas. 
Seeing as it was his can of giggles that <coughs> caused the problem. I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. <sighs> Grass again. <sighs> we could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. Why so miserable, boys? Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them. With a sudden fright. Mr. Ha-Ha. <gasps> Problem. <gasps> can of giggles. <gasps> hiccups. Oh, dear. Did you open the can in a confined space? <gasps> There's your problem. <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle-ups. You need this special supplement. <laughs> the Cano Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle-ups. <laughs> Cure number one, balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the Ha Ha Mega Jumbo Pencil. <laughs> Mr Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So. We sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? Nothing? What? nothing? Nothing! Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, how would Crank Power Up do this? Crang! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <coughs> wanted. <coughs> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. <coughs> it should be good enough. He's coming. Ready? <laughs> now what? Oh, oh, oh nothing. No, oh, just having a laugh. Oh. Just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups, <laughs> and you're not helping. <gasps> <gasps> Seventy-nine. Quick, get ready to ambush! Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! <laughs> Face, what are you playing at? <gasps> it was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're <laughs> useless. <laughs> at this rate, I'll miss the <laughs> movie and I'll never get to show <laughs> Crank Power Up with special <laughs> move. Dennisy Wennessy. Our favourite little nephew. Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright. Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties. <laughs> you were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured. Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. It in crunch of fists three, Mr. Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here, and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me.
Regulation, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. I, I mean, injuring yourselves. Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. <laughs> Never mind fun, you just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pie Face, there are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, son. Health and safety in it. More than my job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Cause chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We were only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, you can have yeah. a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that. 
<laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and bouncy castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Come, bouncy castle. A bee do a poo! <laughs> hey, B, look. It's not my fault. You just can't! Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, Bee? Bee? Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't you going to like? Bee? Bee flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. another class for next week, so I might want you to look after Bee again. That's all right, Mum. Bee's no trouble. Are you, Bee? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy <gasps> yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <sighs> I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. <laughs> <laughs> 